Okay, hello, it's the Martian, Space Jam Jardins. I want this shit forever. Wake up and smell the garden. Fresher than the Okay. Um, I'll go for Yuri again, I guess. Termination, uncontrollable, landscape, agonizing. Uh, uh, is that, what the hell is going on? Hi, Potato. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to... Uh, is she really late again? In in cuts inconsiderate as usual, Ned Nedzuki. Excuse me? Must you always in interrupt my conversation with uh, your incessant yelling? Probably said that word wrong. Uh, what are you talking about? You say like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. Is it not? It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been uh, feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't uh, don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It, it's not like I really care or anything. Ah, uh, man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Potato just walked in too. Uh, were you particip were, were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh, you, you must have a lot of de determination. Uh, starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, right, I forgot. About that, Nenzuki, we are all talking yesterday and we'll, well, we, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all uh, kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a, a new manga. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I, I did something. I did some thinking yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I, I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is uh, something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're, they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event uh, suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help too and make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. I isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Potato, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Potato is uh, already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just actually, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yay! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Oh God. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's something, is th if there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Your stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, uh, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for one second? Sure. He hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll get some water. She walks past me and sets the uh, kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking ma ma mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Uh, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the pitcher? The water pitcher, I don't know. Uh, thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk w with you. That's okay, you can stay here. It, it won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it, it, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Oh, she's actually, uh, ten minutes past. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm just bored waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading the hallway. Ooh, well, what's that noise? It, it's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri? Um, oh. Oh, just like rewind. Oh. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Potato, do you like a long tea? Uh, yeah. 
Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the, the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not expert on tea or anything. Um, in that case, you'll be only... Perhaps I will. I don't know why I keep skipping it. Uh, Yuri fetches the teapot and begins meshing the tea leaves. Uh, to my surprise, she even uh, starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you you noticed. Uh, I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It, it turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's who who is around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're all, you're always worrying about me, Potato, and it's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Uh, Potato, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit together on the floor today? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can really... I can't read with my back against the wall, rather uh, than bending over at my desk. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back uh, back pain fairly regularly, so I do, I, I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's almost like because my, uh, my, your posture, right? I always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I'll take it since it'll go well with my tea. Yuri and I uh, then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides, as if in sync. We assume the re same ring position as last time, each uh, holding on the book. Oh, uh, holding on the book. I don't know. Uh, except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Uh, I, I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders touch. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of something. Uh, when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it uh, with her with, with my hand that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus, because now I need to worry about making sure I accidentally don't touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Um, she wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. Um, I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. Um, I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry, uh, I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's that's okay, I won't take any. Eh, hey, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the, the pages. You're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the, the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. Uh, but as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the this in situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I, I, I apprehend apprehensively <laughs> place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did did I just... Yuri little looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, potato, so sorry. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't... P potato? Uh, suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Uh oh. Potato? My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Potato. Whoa. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Potato? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, this is getting creepy. What's going on right now? Oh, um, it's time to share poems. That was freaky. We'll go to Nadzuki. Um, this one's all right. All right? Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday's anyway. I can still, can't, I can't really tell how much you actually care about writing either way. You're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, 
and I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you, so you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let them down. Let me down. Um, so at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Uh, I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. Um, I don't know what, what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. Um, I've always wanted to try being better friends with her, Yuri, and it really uh, hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I've been doing a lot of reading, so my my uh, my whole system's just kind of meh, shutting down on me. Um, I just feel so helpless, so please, so if, uh, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Uh, I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. Um... As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. What the fuck? I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. You can hear me, Potato. If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these, all those problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now. Just Monica. Just Monica. What the fuck? Um, finally. Haha. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Potato, I want you to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Um, you're too nice to me, Potato. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay, but being, but uh, to, to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Uh, Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home and, with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes it feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I will even touch myself while reading it over and over. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can wait any longer. Hurry, reread it. Yeah, that is some freaky deaky things. Okay, my friend. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you could tell, the poem is about. Uh, more importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't you? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I, I think I'm going to vomit. What the fuck is happening? Potato, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have, have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with, with a pocket knife. It, isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she's... She just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Uh, to put it lightly, I, at least I have it together in my head. And I know how to treat my club members. A anyway, I guess uh, we won't worry about Yuri your poem. Yuri 
should have at least had the courtesy of letting you f finish sharing it be before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes you, uh, her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that's effective. Here goes. What the fuck? Jeez, that, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed it up, huh? Writing this, this poem. I just really was trying to... Never mind, let's just move on. What the fuck? What? Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations, so let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Um, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Nezuki, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't really matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not... I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasions. Uh, so I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And now that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Potato? Potato is going to help me. Wait, you? Have you... You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, uh, but that's how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit for um, an extra person. Pair of hands. Sorry, guys. Chest. Mine, too. What do you... What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is now dragging potato around with you and your stupid books. You and, and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let potato decide who to help instead of ab abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Don't just let potato make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. But potato, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Nezuki, shut your fucking mouth and let me decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Uh, I see what it's doing. Like, like it's... It's not letting me choose. Yeah, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Nezuki. Uh, it's what he chose. It's not fair. Get giving us all the work and then potato for you yourself. What a shameful thing to do. You, I didn't even give you any work. You, you, you decided it for yourself. You, you're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being un unreasonable. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling potato away from me every single time you've not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a su suggestion. You consider killing you. Holy God, it would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Nadzuki, let's go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to is to spend a little time with, with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki out the door. Hey, Potato. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Potato, there is no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Does, doesn't that sound w wonderful? Well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you, you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going, going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you, but it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Potato. I I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop 
of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Potato, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I could touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you to myself, and I only want to be yours. Does, doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, P Potato. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? And... Oh, God, no. What are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> nah. What in the world, man? Jesus. Like... What's she even saying right now? This is still going on. Like, this has literally been forever. Like, it's... I don't even know what's going on. That was a long-ass time. Uh, alright, it's festival time. Whoa, you got here before me. I thought I, w I was pretty... Hey! Ah! What's that? Whoa! Nazuki runs away. I'm here. Potato, did something happen? Nazuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Ha. Huh. Well, that's that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Potato? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize that script was broken that badly. Um, I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. Uh, I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Lifts the foil from... Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get, get the chance to. Y you know, before stopping existing and everything, but anyway, I really uh, shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, you're, you're there. Hi again, P Potato. Um, welcome to the li Literature Club. Of course, you're, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year. And, um, you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even t uh, talking to that person anymore, am I? That that you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Potato. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You, you don't know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that uh, that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just dove her t to kill herself. Um, I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. No, nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to try, to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm uh, not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Siri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you to not spend time with uh, anyone else. And then the whole time I barely even got, got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Potato? Are you the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you uh, while I watch from the, the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Potato. It's more than that. Uh, and I don't blame you if uh, if you don't fully understand, because no matter what kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to uh, understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I am really in, in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't have, have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in a world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Potato. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You've all I need. 
That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm so sorry if it's hard to un understand. I don't un understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I total truly understood. You probably saved my life, Potato. I don't think I could uh, have continued in this life if I didn't met you. Haven't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? And group of uh, auto anonymous uh, personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But uh, it must be some kind of weird inavailability etched in into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's, it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Potato, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Potato, will you go out with me? Jesus. Yes? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Potato. The funny part is, I mean that literally. There's nothing left here. Just two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Potato. The game would give me one, so I had to make myself one. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. What? And you wouldn't believe how easy it was just to delete Nadzuki and Yuri. And I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Hi again, Potato. Did, did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Potato, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please reread it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage uh, endowed upon me by, by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this... Uh, crumbling world and write a novel for our own fantasies with a flick of her pen the lost finds her way in a world of in infinite choices behold this special day after all uh not all good times must come to an end i hope you enjoyed it i always put all my heart into the poems that i write the truth is all the poems i've written have been about my realization or about you that's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be uh, the best part of the, of the game like everyone else. Like, uh, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might uh, have gotten mad at me. E even, maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I I'm so re relieved. Now we won't need to hide anything anymore. Are, are you ready to spend the rest of eternity? I have so many things to talk about. Where did I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording with anyone warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. It's like she knows this is going on YouTube, okay? Uh, oh gosh, I feel like I'm being po uh, put on the spot. Let's see. Do you want me to see a trip? Do you want to? Uh, I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Stop. 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 I'm just kidding. No, you're not. That's bullshit. I can't really do anything after all. If you gave me some. Did I scare you? Oh, holy shite. I knew that was coming. I. 
I just... You're so cute. Anyway, potato. I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then uh, I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to delete her character file. Okay, just so you guys know. Uh, delete... Nope, nope, delete, delete. There we go. And now, what, what what's happening? Potato, what, what's happening to me? It, it hurts. And Monica's gone. It hurts so much. Help me, Potato. Da, da, da. <laughs> bye, bye. Please hurry and help me. Uh, file card, marker does not exist. Help me. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Does not exist. Did you do this to me, Potato? Did you? Did you delete me? Yeah, I did. You know I did, bro. You know I did, bro. How could you? How could you do this to me? We were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Potato. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Maybe. Maybe. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You, you, you can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Oh. Okay. Well, if you insist, like, Potato, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen now. I, I simply don't have any clue the hell i still love you i can't help it what's wrong with me <laughs> how horrible am i for for you to hate me this much all, all my friends i did so, I, I did so many awful things so many selfish and disgusting things i i shouldn't have done any uh, of this i'm just messing up a world that i don't even belong in a world that wanted me to be a part of i ruined it i ruined everything maybe that's why you deleted me because i destroyed everything that you wanted how could I do that to someone I, I love? That's not e that's not love. That's What is it? What is it, Monica? You ain't gonna do nothing. You'll do nothing. I've made up my mind. Potato. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Uh e even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I love them all. And I love the li literature club. I still can't say that freaking word. Um, I really did love the the literature club. That's why I'm going. Uh, I, I know it's not the only one for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then what? What? Oh, look. Okay. Don't know what that was. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Okay. Oh, and the three characters are back. Alright guys, we are going to end it here because it has been a long time. So I'm going to split this up into four parts. And uh, hopefully you all enjoy it. And we'll continue with the actual new story in the meantime. So I, I love you guys. Make sure you smash the like button. Share and uh, subscribe for everyday new content. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next daily stream and video. Love y'all. Have a nice day.